and we're back with another episode of successful marketing sales and relationships for small business owners and entrepreneurs i am your host sadan long and welcome to our third episode of 2024 thank you for tuning in once again and today we're talking about what you need to do to be closer to financial freedom in 2024 that's right i said in 2024 what you need to do to be closer to financial freedom but before we get started i want to tell you where you can see me live you know if you're in the chicagoland area on february 3rd i will be at elevate 24 the ultimate branding experience hosted by the founder of set sculpting studio lamisa marshall so what this event is, is, man, we're going to put together a whole bunch of really bright minds and a variety of different areas within the business field, you know, and I'm going to run them down to you real quick and give you some little high points about what they're going to be able to do to help you get closer to that financial freedom that you really desire in 2024. So without any further ado, let's just get to that first. I mean, the first person, you know, I'm really excited about being in the room with on the 3rd of February. Um, at Set Studios in Maryville, Indiana. So the first person I'm excited to be in the room with is Atiyah Muhammad. Yes, Atiyah Muhammad. Grant writer Atiyah Muhammad. Person who's going to get you access to capital. What type of capital? Well, if you need startup capital, you know, there's a possibility she can help you get there. You know, if you need expansion capital, it's a possibility she can help you get there because obviously it takes money to make money and somebody who can help you gain access to money is extremely important. You know, especially, you know, this time of year when you start seeing people um, talking about MBA, WBA, SBA, which are small business, minority business and women business owner um, grants. So, again, she's going to be in the room. And you're going to get to ask questions and listen to her um, tell you exactly what you need to do to start qualifying for some of this expansion and startup money. You know, because, again, it takes money, absolutely, to make money. You know, the second person that's going to be in the room and I'm extremely excited about being in the room with is Crystal L. Johnson, attorney Crystal L. Johnson. And she's going to tell you how to not only um, protect your intellectual properties, but how to protect your money. You know, because um, in the words of Biggie, you know, more money, more problems. But in this particular case, you want to make more money, but you don't want more problems. So, again, attorney Crystal L. Johnson is going to be in the building. So if you got any questions about copyright, if you got any question about um, cease and desist, if you got any question about anything concerning the legal or legalities of starting your business, LLCs, C-Corps, which one should I do? I don't know. You know, she's going to be in the business to help you um, get that worked out. So make sure you pull up to see her as well. But I'm not done, man. I am absolutely not done. Um, we also got Jeremy Lander in the building. You know, young boy, bright man, really beautiful, bright young man who is going to talk about personal and business credit. And why is personal and business credit so important? Well, here's the thing. A lot of businesses go out of business because they can't buy enough inventory to cover the amount of demand they have so let's just say for example you have an order and the order is for thirty thousand dollars i'm just throwing a number out there so you got a thirty thousand dollar order but you don't get paid until fulfillment so now they're going to give you thirty thousand dollars and it might only cost you ten thousand dollars to fulfill the order but if you don't have ten thousand dollars cash that you can then float to get the stuff done you won't be able to do it you know if you don't have enough money to cover payroll as well as fulfillment you won't be able to do it so instead of you being up all night trying to figure out how you're going to get it done you know now you can pay people you know now you can buy materials you know so now when you fulfill that order and you get paid you can now pay back your credit or pay back your creditors. You know, so again, the thing about that that is extremely important is it gives you an opportunity to expand your business because now your fulfillment can be a little bit easier 
on your pocket. So you're now not trying to tell people, well, I'm going to pay you as soon as they pay me. You're actually paying those people in advance. So you're not having to go into your 401k. You're not having to do payday loans. You're not having to do all these predatory loans to cover payroll. You know, so again, Jeremy Lander being in the room is extremely important. I'm going to say it one more time. Extremely important. You know, because again, the bigger orders take longer for you to get paid. You know, let's just say you're doing, um, you know, fulfillment and you're doing it with, you know, the government. Government takes a long time to pay. So, again, you need a guy like Jeremy to show you how to get that line of credit so that you can get these things fulfilled and still keep your business running. Because what we don't want are CFI. Shout out to um, Purposely Lenora, um, real estate expert, friend of mine. She will not be there unless she's sitting in the audience because she's not on stage. But one thing that she always says that you do not want CFIs. The CFIs are cash flow interruptions. So shout out to her. You know, just wanted to give her credit. Didn't want to take her phrase and not give her her flowers. So, again, with that being said, you know, Jeremy, extremely important. Um, also, we got the amazing Paul Kaiser in the room on February 3rd. The, ama the amazing Paul Kaiser. Hey, if you look like a million bucks, people usually want to give you a million bucks. You know, so Paul Kaiser is going to be in the room showing you how to do those photo shoots. Um, not only for you, you know, but for your products. You know, because again, you want to look like money so that people will give you money. But you also need to, to have your products look appealing as well. So whether it's shooting food or whether it's shooting models or whether it's shooting merchandise or whether it's shooting you. Paul Kaiser is going to have you covered because, again, if you look like money, because this is a visual business. You know, obviously, this is a visual business. So anybody who can help raise your visual value is truly going to be an asset to you and your business, especially in 2024. Now, we're moving on down the list. We're moving on down the list. And we also have in the room, Shiora. I hope I'm saying that right, Shiora Tobert, you know, website and promo design. You know, because once you get the right message, you need to be able to amplify it. You need to be able to advertise. You know, so again, extremely important because now people need to know you exist. And if nobody knows you exist, how are they going to know how to buy from you? How are they going to want to buy from you? How are they going to be encouraged to get to know you and sign up for your list and take your programs and show up at your store? So promo advertising is extremely important. And so is web design. Because, again, just like with Paul, if she raises your visual value, now all of a sudden you can start commanding a higher dollar because you look like a pro. You know, so if you look good, get paid good. Shout out to Deion Sanders. You know, so, again, if you look good, you get paid good. You know, Prime, Coach Prime, you know, that's not mine, that's his. But it does apply. Raising your visual value is extremely important. You know, so we got people who are going to raise your visual value. Then we also have people who are going to help you get your business business buttoned up. We got people who are going to help you gain access to capital. You know, so we got a bunch of stuff on the docket and I'm not done. You know, again, let's not forget about our host, Lamisa Marshall, you know, the owner, you know, of set. And speaking of visual value, nobody's more important to visual value than she is because she's actually going to help that body. You know, if you're going to have a photo shoot and you're going to be the face of a brand, then you need to make sure that you look fit. You need to make sure you look good in that dress, look good in that tux. You look good in those pictures, look good at those events, look good on those stages. You know, so if you're looking to feel better, look better, move better, then make sure you're in the room because she's going to tell you how to do it. You know, how to slim out that waist, how to get that hourglass figure so when you're at those events, and you're networking, you look like somebody people want to talk to. You, know, you look like the CEO. You look like a boss. You look like someone who they should be doing business with. You know, the truth of the matter is this is a very shallow world and how people look is extremely important. You know, and there are a lot of people out there going, well, the beautiful people get all the opportunities. True. Not right, but true. You know, so we want to help you honor your gift. Fulfill your purpose, take care of your family by giving you all the things that you need in order to build the best business possible. And speaking of building the best business possible, 
You know, now I ain't gonna say we say the best for last. I'm just last because I got the mic. <laughs> so again, then you gonna also have me in the room, best selling author. Um, you know, my work has generated millions of dollars, created multiple millionaires, um, created a bunch of full time entrepreneurs. Um, my roster includes Emmy winners. Um, I ghost wrote for one of the top business blogs on LinkedIn. I've been able to help people retire their spouses. So there's a variety of things that I bring to the table as well. And the number one thing that I bring to the table is how to get customers, you know, which is what we're talking about today. So that's where all this is leading, because if you can't get customers, none of this stuff really matters. You know, it's going to be very easy to get people to want to give you money. If you're making money, you know, the key to accessing capital is sales. The key to people wanting to work with you is sales. So if you have someone who can actually show you how to get customers, keep customers and what to do with the customers once you get them, now you're on the path to financial freedom in 2024. So again, I'm gonna be there as well. It is going to be February 3rd at three o'clock. And yeah, I'm looking at it because, you know, I'm, I'm getting older. I can't remember all this stuff off the top of my head. So yes, absolutely. I am looking at it as we are talking. So it's February 3rd from three to six, put it on your calendar. You know, we're going to be in Maryville, Indiana. Um, the address is 1456 East 85th Avenue. You know, and it is set studios run by Lamisa Marshall. So make sure you pull up. Absolutely. Please make sure you pull up. You know, not for me, not for them, but for you, you know, because where else are you going to be in the room with somebody who's actually made millions of dollars for clients and is willing to tell you how he did it? You know, who else are you going to be in the room with at the same time who could tell you how to gain access to capital? So, again, gain access to capital, get customers. Get your business buttoned up with your LLCs and protect your intellectual properties. Make sure that your website looks good and you look good and also help you get into that dress. Oh my God. Is there really a better event on the planet? I don't think so. I don't think there could be a better event than that. You know, and if it is, you know, somebody call and let me know because I'll go. <laughs> but anyway, man, like I said before, make sure you pull up on February 3rd. If you're in Northwest Indiana, Chicago land, Indianapolis, um, it's just right up the highway. You know, if you're in Mid and um, what is that, Michigan City, you know, pull on up. You know, gonna be a great room full of great people showing you how to put yourself in the best position possible to make your business as successful as possible. You know, again, we'll show you how to make the money. We'll show you how to attract more money. We'll show you what to do with the money once you make it to protect it. You know, from getting sued and things of that nature. Um, we'll show you how to make people want to follow you and be around you and be with you and do business with you. You know, because if you look like somebody and you move like somebody and you're making money like somebody, other people are going to want to be with you as well. So with that being said, <coughs> please pull up February 3rd. Now that we got that out of the way, you know, let's talk about what we came to talk about today, which is what's going to put you on a path to financial freedom in 2024 and the thing that's going to put you on the path <coughs> is ability to get customers you are only great customers away from financial freedom that's that's it because if you have great customers and they're buying and they're consistently buying then you have profits then you can go out and buy more money in the form of highly productive professional people who can then run the company and you can then do whatever it is that you want to do. You can open up other businesses. You can open up other branches. You can spend more quality time with your family and loved ones. But the thing is, is if you don't have great customers, none of this other stuff matters. You know, again, I always use the escalator. Like you could put in a brand new escalator, but if nobody's riding up and down on it, what good is it? You now, if a business open up and there's no customers, is it really a business? Yeah. So again, the number one thing in all of these things is you have to figure out 
how to get great customers because that's what's going to allow you to recoup. Now, the word recoup means to recover your investment. So once you recover your investment, then what you can do is reinvest that money back into the business without having any kind of um, pain to your pockets because you're using the same money twice. Okay, I put in $10,000, I got my 10,000 out, then I put my 10,000 back in, now my 10,000 is working again to help me get more money. And then, now once I've reinvested, then I start to see a return on investment. You know, it became easier, faster, simpler to make money because I kept investing in people and I kept investing in my business. You know, because right now for a lot of people, it's not how do you do something. It's who does it really well that I can pay to help me do it. You know, who knows how to attract customers, keep customers well enough that it can affect my business in a positive way. You know, who knows how to build websites and automate my processes well enough to help my business move forward in an impactful way. You know, who knows how to style me, dress me, for to, you know, photograph me in a way that makes me more appealing. You know, who knows how to direct me and write my scripts so that I sound intelligent. You know, who knows how to shoot my commercials and podcasts, you know, so that I look like a pro. But only all of that comes on the back of sales. It all comes on the back of sales. Okay. Because if you can't get any sales, how are you going to recoup the money you've invested? You know, I was on the phone with a client earlier in the week and she was asking me about a quote that she gotten from a web designer. Now, I won't tell you what the quote was because everybody's price is their price. And I'm not telling the other people what they should or shouldn't charge. But my question was, is less about whether or not you should pay that and more about how you're going to make it back. OK, and when you're sitting there, you're like, well, how am I going to make it back? You make it back with customers. You make it back with sales. You make it back with leads that lead to sales. You know, so when you're sitting at home and they're saying, oh, wow, you know, this person charges $10,000. But it doesn't matter if they charge $10,000 if you made 5000 I mean, if you made $50,000. You know, if you made $600,000, it doesn't matter that they charge you $10,000. Yeah. You know, so the question is, how do I use this person? To further advance my mission. You know, how is this person going to help me get keep customers? You know, how is this person going to help me expand my customer base? Expand my customer list? Get more leads? Because if they can't help you make money. Then all they're doing is taking money from you. You know. Um, one of my favorite phrases is a fair exchange is not a robbery. You know, so if I'm exchanging my unique gift, which is how to turn information into income for your gift, which is your money. And we're both happy with what we got on the other side. That is not a robbery. But if you're constantly having these relationships with people, because everything's a relationship, you're having these business relationships with people where you're giving them your money, but they're not giving you a gift good enough for you to recoup. You're never going to be on the path to financial freedom. You know, I have experienced it per personally. I'll, I'll tell you some stories real quick. You know, spent a lot of time on the radio when I first got started. And anybody who's done radio knows that, hey, you got to pay for your ad time. You got to pay for your, your spot. So now if I'm paying to be on the radio, if I'm paying to have a show, and I'm not getting any customers, what happens? Okay. Well, what happened for me is, man, I started to look at my bank account and realized that I was running out of money. You know, I started to look at my credit card and realized that my credit card was going up, you know, but I was on the radio and people were like, oh, cool. You're on the radio. That's nice. You know, I saw your show. I heard your show. But it didn't turn into sales. So now, yes, I was entertaining people and people were patting me on the back, but it wasn't translating into sales. So eventually Hey, you reach a tipping point where either you go further into debt or you get off the pot. I got off the pot. 
you know, but in the process of that, I learned something, which was don't invest in something that you don't already know how you're going to get your money back out of, you know, you know, shout out to AC green, you know, it was AC green. that really, you know, kind of set, pulled me to the side and schooled me on the game. He was like, okay, man, you got to make sure that you're driving traffic to your website. You got to make sure that you're giving people a reason to buy from you. You got to make sure you're selling something, you know, not just making a bunch of noise. No. So again, I learned something, you know, so there was a lesson involved, but man, it was a very expensive lesson. But if you have customers coming from your radio show, if you have customers coming from your podcast, if you have customers coming from all of this marketing and promotions that you do, then it starts to pay for itself. You know, again, what I do now is I, I do a podcast. You know, I, I jump on and I teach people how to get customers, how to raise their price, how to keep their customers, how to build, you know, their customer list. Basically, everything that I do with clients, I am sharing pieces of it with you each and every day or every other day so that you can then do the same thing for your clients. And realistically, if you just did what I told you to do, you'd have a great amount of success for free. You know why? Because these are all proven concepts. These are all things that I've done to make money. These are all things that I've actually implemented with clients that actually work. <laughs> so with that being said, now what will happen is people will start asking you how they can hire you. Now people will start asking you, when's your next event? Now people will start asking you, how can they get on your calendar? Because what you start to demonstrate is that you actually know what you're talking about. What starts to happen is they get familiar with you. They start to trust you and you become top of mind. So now you're getting a customer. And if you're using free social media, like we're using right now, thank you, Facebook, you know, thank you, YouTube. Thank you. Um, what, what else? Oh, Spotify, <laughs> you know, cause again, you can find me on Spotify. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on YouTube. You know, thank you to Instagram and Twitter or X now as well, because you can find reels and snips and clips on there as well. So thank you for all of these, these platforms who don't charge me any money, but allow me to keep posting each and every day. And if you can keep posting each and every day and you know what to say, that's going to attract your ideal client, a client that's going to pay you and going to buy from you again and again, and then going to share your information and recommend other people to you, you'll be on the path to financial freedom. It's that simple. Yeah. But again, on the radio, spending money, not getting any customers. You know, so again, I imagine just theoretically speaking, if I went back to the radio now, that I could get customers. Now, it would cost me significantly more than the free that, you know, you see me on now, but I could do it. You know, because now I know that I have something that absolutely will help you turn free social media into cold hard cash that will help you build a self-scaling business that would help you attract more customers that will help you get more referrals that will help you keep your customers longer, help you raise your prices, help you do all of the things necessary to build a beautiful, wonderful business. So you can have a beautiful, wonderful life, you know, that you'll have access to capital, you know, that you'll be able to build your own personal brand. Why? Because I've done it. You know, I've done it. You know, so now because I have the information and the proof that my information works, people want to work with me. But the same thing applies to you. You know, you don't get to be 35, 45, 55 without being very good at what you do and knowing all of the things that are going to keep people from being as good as you. You could teach that. And if you teach it to people who want to learn it, you can charge for it. You know, um, you probably heard me say this before, you know, you've heard people say the game is to be sold, not told, you know, but you know, my, my, my version of that is you sell a, you tell a little bit of the game and you sell a little bit of the game, you know, so I'm gonna give you some and then I'm gonna sell you some, you know, I'm gonna let you taste. And then once you get a taste, I'm gonna say, Hey man, come on over here. I got some more for you, you know? So with that being said, you sell a little <laughs> and you tell a little. You know, obviously I can't tell you everything because I'm not working with you personally. 
Now, if I was working with you personally, then we'd be in a position where I could say, hey, check it out. Here's what you need to do specifically because I would be sitting in front of you or I would be on a Zoom with you or I'd be on a call with you and you'd be telling me exactly what your particular business is. And I'd be customizing it to your particular business. But at the same time, if you just did what I said, do, which is answer the questions that, you know, your customers have and then offer them your services, you'd be pretty successful. You know, hey, are you struggling with this? I got great news. I can help you no longer struggle with that. So you can finally get what you want to get. You know, are you unsure about this? You know, because if there's a problem and you answer the problem, people keep coming back to you because you got the answers. You know, how can I, you know, attract more customers? Okay, I got a hundred different ways you can do it. So why wouldn't you come to me? You know, but I can also show you what to do once you get those customers to make even more money with the same customers. Because getting customers is actually kind of hard. Because most people already have somebody they go to. Or they've been burned by somebody in the past who makes them not want to try it again. So I can show you how to get money on either side, either with brand new people. Um, I can show you how to get money with people who failed before. I can show you how to get money with people who are succeeding right now. So there's a variety of different ways that we can get more customers and get great customers and paying customers as opposed to people who want to sell you leads that don't lead to sales. You know, the idea is to get leads that lead to sales. You know, I mean, insights are cool. Follows are cool, but sales are better. You know, it's great if you could get a million views, but that's hard. It's easier to get a couple hundred views and a customer. You know, it's easier to get a couple hundred views and three customers. It's easier than keep those three customers over a period of time to where now you start to build a client base, especially if you can get those three customers to do these two things. One, bring you more customers and two, promote your business. You know, so if you can now learn what we do, which is to elevate and celebrate our customers to a point where they become a beacon, you know, they become the bat signal and they draw more customers to us. How great is that? You know, now you're not working harder. You're working smarter, you know, and then at the same time, if you're calling your leads and you're checking in with your leads and you're emailing your leads, and you tapping in with your leads and you touching on your leads. Some of those people who are on the fence, they're going to become customers too. You know, especially if you're sharing the success stories of your other customers. You know, I mean, imagine, you know, if you're at set studios and you see somebody who's summertime fine <laughs> and last summer, you know, they were lumpy and wrinkled all up and all ill shaped. And I'm not saying that to be, you know, mean or facetious or any of those things. I'm just simply saying that they didn't like the way their body looked and you probably didn't like the way their body looked either. But yet you saw the transformation. Like, wow. And what tends to happen in those situations is the person that sees that transformation, whether it's physically, mentally, financially, they want to know how they can do it for themselves too. So that's how you use the customer. You elevate and celebrate them. You show them off. You know, you bring them out, bring them out <laughs> so that people can see them. You know, and now if you can get that person to also celebrate you, you know, which is the law of reciprocity, because if you elevate and celebrate them, guess what? They're probably going to elevate and celebrate you, too. Like, that's my dog. That's my girl. That's my homie. Girl, you need to work with them. OK, so now they're demanding other people work with you. And if they demand that other people work with you, guess what? It's easier for you to make a living and be on the path to financial freedom. You know, but it all starts with being able to get a customer. You know, if I can get one customer, then I can elevate and celebrate that customer to use to get more customers. And if I can get that customer to then go out and work on my behalf to demand that other people work with me, not share my stuff, but demand that other people work with me. You know, if you don't work with Sedan Long, you a fool. How easy is it for me as a business owner? 
better yet, how easy it for you is it for you? If somebody else is sharing your posts, if somebody else is in the comments, if somebody else is going live from your business, and there are ways to do that. There's ways to build a business that does that. You know, so again, I want you to understand that you can be on the path to freedom because all you need is customers. Because if you get customers and customers give you sales and then you can use those sales to then buy the people that can actually help you grow your business to buy the information that actually unlocks and unleashes this beautiful, wonderful version of your business. Now, most of the time, the reason people don't hire me is because they don't have the money, not because they don't see the value in me. You know, and the same thing goes for you. You know, they would hire you to design their website if they had some customers. You know, they would hire you to coach them if they had some customers. They would hire you to train them <laughs> if they had some customers. You know, but again, you have to be able to get customers, keep customers and get those customers to bring you more customers. You know, so pull up to elevate 2024, you know, the ultimate branding experience on February 3rd. And, and we're going to go in, in depth about some of this stuff so that you can start to be on the, the path to financial freedom in 2024. I put people on that path before and it's worked. You know, my name is good. You know, the people who I'm going to be on this stage with their name is good. You know, proven track records, highly ethical people, so pull up, be in the building. It's worth it. Now, and speaking of that, also, I got some events of my own coming up, you know, because we're really going to start teaching people in 2024. What well, same thing I teach my clients. You know, same thing I teach people who have become seven figure business owners, the same people who retired their spouses, the same thing I taught people who sold their businesses. And now they just, you know, get a check every month. You know, same people, you know, that I've helped, you know, played a role in their success in regard to winning Emmys and business awards and all the above. You now, share the secret to how, you know, I did 600000 for a client five months. So, again, be on the lookout for those as well. And you could go over to grownandrich.com, you know, because, yeah, that's where I'm at. You know, I appreciate you and you can get in my DMs and my comments. And guess what? I will answer you. I will not ignore you. I won't forget about you. You know, I won't act like you don't exist. You know, I'll answer you. I'll respond. So if you're jumping in my DMs or, you know, if you hit me up on Twitter or X, I'm sorry. I um, don't want to, you know, you know, misrepresent Elon and the brand. You know, but if you're on any of those platforms, you jump in my DMs and you're serious. You know, you're not trying to, um, you know, get me involved in some type of scam or ask for my cash app. I'll respond. So, again, if you're interested in working with somebody like me, you know, who's actually got a proven record, proven track record at doing it, documented proven track record, you know, go to grownandrich.com and click that make money fast button. You know, but again, you can, that's the message today. You can be on the path to financial freedom in 2024. You know, all you need is customers. And if you can get customers... The rest of that stuff will work itself out because that'll give you the money you need to grow and expand, you know, and even, you know, for people at home who are like, well, I need a grant or I need this and I need that. Let me, let me give you a little secret about grants. And, you know, obviously I don't want to step on Miss Muhammad's toes. You know, she's going to give you way more details than I am, but I'm going to just give you a little small secret. Access to capital is a lot easier when you have sales. Here's why. Because the bank wants to know how they're going to get their money back. Now, here's how I want you to look at this. How likely are you to get a credit card if you don't have a job? So why would a business loan be any different? Okay. So if you can't prove that you have income coming in, how are they going to get their money back? How are they going to get their loan plus interest back? So sales is the key to capital. Okay. Same thing with grants makes it a lot easier. I'm not saying that it's impossible without them, but I'm saying that it is a lot easier if you have social proof that you can actually do what you say you do. 
Here's why. Because the foundations, you know, the, the corporations, all these people, they give money to non for profits. So now when the non for profits give the money out, what they're hoping to get in return is good press. And the best press possible is a success story. Okay. A success story is the best press possible. So if we say that we helped homeless people and now we got a homeless person who's no longer homeless, who has started their own business, who now is helping other homeless people start their own businesses. How great of a story is that? So now all of a sudden you're in newspapers, you're on TV, you're on people's timelines and everything around that story starts with how you believed in that person, how you invested in that person, how you poured into that person. And when they interview that person, they're like, I just want to thank the people over at, you know, I wouldn't have been able to do this without the people at. So they want you to be that person who, that they can say, look, look at what we were able to do. You know, if we give away women business grants, we want to build successful businesses with women. There is no glory if you go out of business. You know, if we work with minorities, we want to see those minority business owners flourish. So that we can then say, hey, this is what we did with your money. And this is how you helped us. And how we help them. And then it becomes this circular thing between success for them, promotion for the, the people who give it, which then makes the people want to give even more. You know, but why would I want to give to homeless people if they're still homeless five years after I gave them the money? You know, I want to do something that helps them change their lives. And in business, the thing that's going to change your life is your ability to get customers. So you can be on a path to financial freedom if you can get customers. It's that simple. You know, are all your customers going to be great? No. But you can get a lot of great customers. And if you get a lot of great customers, you'll have a lot of great days. You know, when you have a million dollar business, it's because you had people gave you enough set because you got enough sales to get a million dollars. You know, shout out to, to people who, you know, are, are grew up in the, the 90s and bought CDs. You know, we knew, you know, that, hey, man, that person was platinum. That person was two times platinum, three times platinum. That person went diamond. What that meant back then is that that person was selling a million, two million, three million, four million, ten million real CDs. You know, so now when you look at the billionaires in the 2000s, they were more successful artists in the 90s. You know, Diddy, Diddy was successful in the 90s. Jay-Z successful in the 90s. And what they did is they took that money they made in the 90s and then all of a sudden they opened up Rock Aware and they opened up Rock Nation and they opened up Rock Sports and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, they all of a sudden they have Revolt and Ciroc and all these different things. So if you can get a good run in 2024, there's no telling what you could open up in 2025. That's why I said that, you know. But it all started because they were able to sell CDs. And if I could sell CDs, now I got enough money to invest in real estate. Now I got enough money to invest in vitamin water. Now I got enough money to do these other things. You know, Dr. Dre doesn't have the beats if he doesn't sell the CDs. If he don't have the vitamin water, if he don't sell the CDs. Diddy doesn't have revolt if he don't sell the CDs. So if you don't sell the thing that you're selling, it's going to be hard to get that next thing. You know. So now, because you sold the one thing, you built a brand. So now we want to do Beats by Dre. You know, we want to do, you know, a deal with you for an S. Dot Carter. You know, we want to do a deal with you, a brand sponsorship for Ciroc. You know, so again, we got to get the first thing right. And we get that foundational piece right, that beginning piece, which is how do we get customers? How do we get them to buy? How do we keep them buying? How do we get them to then demand that other people work with us? How do we then use the success that they have to then draw in other people? If we get that part right, man, 
Unlimited opportunities will open up for you. Unlimited opportunities will open for you. Purpose fulfilling, life changing opportunities will open for you. Because now you'll get to be places and do things that you couldn't otherwise do. You know, see the freedoms that come with it. You know, now if there's an event in Atlanta, man, you just grab your bags and head to the airport. You know, now if an opportunity to invest in a brand, you know, or, you know, cannabis or real estate or any of those things, man, you just put your money in. You know, so again, if you have capital and you want to invest in Uber or any of the tech companies out west, you can. So now you start to build these empires. You know, because you have sales and you use the sales to then buy more money. You know, you don't see Aston Kutcher in movies as much because guess what? Aston invested and made a whole lot of money in tech. You know, you don't see Nas running around touring, you know, because Nas is making a whole bunch of money off rink and hanging out with Richard Branson and their investment group. But you have to have some money to get into these hedge funds. You have to have some money to get into these investments because a lot of these investors are like, hey, man, if you can't contribute a significant amount of cash, then we're not going to be able to to let you in the group. Take money to make money. So. What we're offering on February 3rd is an opportunity to build a foundation that will put you on the path to limitless income. You know, we're going to show you how to get sales because that's the foundational piece, which is going to then make you more attractive to investors. You know, so when you write those grants, now you can say, here's what we're done. If we've done and we need money to expand. You know, and if we could expand by this much, here's what we'd be able to do over the next 18 months. Now, you can build your S Corps, your C Corps, your LLCs. You know, because now you have the kind of money necessary to do the business that would that you would need to protect. <laughs> you know, you got something worth protecting now. You know. And you'll be able to expand, you know, again, into bigger businesses, because if you come in with some money and you look like you could pay money back, it's a lot easier to get that business credit and pay that money back. You know, because sometimes, you know, people will get business credit, but if you can't pay it back, how do you build a sustainable business that you can then pass down to your kids? You know, so again, it'll make it a lot easier to do that, too. And we're going to show you how to get that done. You know, and at the same time, like I said, man, if you're going to be the CEO in the face of a brand, you know, and you're going to be elevated and celebrated because you're elevating and celebrating other people. You need to look good. You need to look good. And we got a look good team, <laughs> you know, with the amazing Paul Kaiser, you know, with Miss Tobert, who does, you know, web and promotion, because obviously people got to know about you to buy from you, you know. And then, you know, the, the captain of the ship, the general of, of this particular event, Lamisa Marshall herself, which is going to help you get that hourglass figure. You know, it's going to help your skin look better, help your body feel better so that you can now take full advantage of all these opportunities that come your way. You know, because if you got the money to pull up at these events, you got the money to go to these mayor's balls, and you got the money to do the things necessary to be seen as the CEO that you are, you might as well look the part, you know. You're going to get all this money, to, you know, you're going to want to buy some couture. And if you're buying that couture, you want to look good in it. That's real talk, you know. But as always, man, it's your business, Big Bro. So down along with another episode of Successful Marketing, Sales, and Relationships for Adult Business Owners and oper business owners and Entrepreneurs. And it is not too late. You know, 35, 45, 55, it is not too late. Um, some of our greatest business owners didn't start today. We're in their 40s. So if that is you and you want our help, man, just go on over to grownandrich.com, click the Make Money Fast button. They're going to send me an email and I'm going to send you one back and we're going to talk about your business and anything that you learn during that call that will then help you make money, which is not uncommon. You get to do for free. Now, how much profit is that? <laughs> you know, didn't cost you anything but 15 minutes of your time. 
you know, and in return, you got something that you could use to make money, protect you from poverty and help your family um, be the best versions of themselves. Because obviously there are a lot of people who ask you for things and you just can't tell them no. You know, as a mom, how you going to tell your kids no? Hey, they need shoes. They need food. You know, how you going to tell light, gas and mortgage people no? You, know, you got to keep those lights on, especially in the wintertime if you live in the Midwest. You know, shout out to all my people who do live in the Midwest. You know, you can't tell your parents no. You know, if you got a mom or dad and they're sick and they need medications, what are you going to do? Not going to buy the medication? You know, so again, you need money. You know, money, you know, will clear a multitude of problems. So let us show you how to get it, get it, get it the right way. You know, a way that doesn't allow you, um, it doesn't afford you um, the opportunity to end up in jail, but actually, you know, unlocks and unleashes the thing that God put in you. You know, as always, again, man, it's your business, big bro. I love you. It has been an honor to sit for, for you. It is um, the first part of the year, and, you know, I know you got goals and you got plans, so, you know, we want to help you do what you need to do to get done what you need to get done. As always, man, I love you, and I'm out. Mm-hmm.